So I had someone ask on my YouTube channel how to go about inserting text into something, um, specifically the Killbot animation that I made. I'll link to it at the end of the video. But um, in order to be able to do that, uh, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, first, you start with a sphere. Just zoom in on that and uh, select some faces. Uh, hopefully, they're together at some point. In this case, I'll use the ones kind of that I did for that video. Uh, you hit P to separate by selection. Good to go there. Go into edit mode. Uh, as long as you're set on normal, you can extrude that out and it will stick with the sphere itself. Uh, then you want to add in some text for that. Uh, you can name the text whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, uh, but whatever you want to call it. Sort of position that into your block as you want it. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just as you close enough, because what we're going to end up doing is adding a modifier to it to shrink wrap it to the sphere that we need. Let's see that again, nice thing that we're dealing with there. Um, or the text just adheres straight to what we need it to. Alright, so uh, we cannot then apply that, but we can't because it's an, not the correct object type. So we have to first create a mesh from the curve slash surface directly on there. Alright, so then we go into edit mode, select everything, extrude it out, again sticking along the normals, and then we can uh, select everything and move them back into it. Uh, because what we're going to do now is set a boolean on the, uh, on the extruded part of the sphere. Um, the way I did this originally is I subdivided this an immense amount of times and then just booleaned it in. Um, since then, you can make all of this um, essentially uh, one end gone by uh, doing all of that and just hitting uh, just these ones and F. But for this one, I'll show you exactly what I did for the other one. So uh, subdivide that a whole bunch of times and then it should do it. And then we take the modifier a boolean to the sphere itself, we want to do the difference of the text. So that will take a little bit, or not too long I guess, and then uh, in order to see this is working, you can see, and you can sort of see that the mesh has been deformed a little bit, uh, so you hit apply, and then you just get rid of the text and you have your inset text straight in there. 